we'll do a show me question a little bit later in the maneuver maybe an emergency stop just like a real test okay yep. if you have any questions just ask otherwise take your time i wish you the best of luck and drive on when you're ready and just ignore me for this second now if anyone's here for the results the results will be at the end of the video so if you'd like to see the results skip on to the end otherwise we'll just be mentioning lots of nice stuff we've got a very good driver here so there's gonna be lots of good tips and lots of good things to look out for along the way i'll mention them as we go okay and results are at the end thank you And one last thing, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Smash that like button. As you can see, lovely mirror checks already. Another nice uh, part of uh, e trains driving is the clearance from the left. That's also really nice. Um, a lot of people are failing recently for getting too close to parked cars, especially when you've got large vehicles like this one, you know, coming towards you. It's very tempting to get scared of that vehicle and then get too close to the parked cars. That doesn't happen with your driving. It's really nice. Uh, we do have Friday prayer here, so there's the, just the mosque here. It can get quite busy for that reason, so just take care. Some of the drivers may drive out without much warning and the pedestrians as well. After 300 yards, turn left, A4090, Witten Avenue East. Nice mirror check to your braking there, well done. Very good. I saw you looking over to the part of vehicles just now as well. Even though you had the oncoming vehicle, you're still looking out the window on the left to see your spacing from the part vehicles. It's too easy to lock on to the scary hazard like this big white van and then forget to look here. But as you can see, e tren is doing his observations on both sides. So um, turn really left important. A forty ninety Witten Avenue East. I am getting that right, isn't it? E tren. Yep. Yeah, it's cool. Correct. Nice positioning here, pointing to the left, because that's where we're going to go next. And very good on your observations. It's a very busy road, this one. Oh, look, the bus driver's doing his driving test. Well, it's a bus test. triple checking the traffic there definitely see it's turning in and then you know it's safe to move out that was nice as well um, you weren't just looking one time you had another look before you made that commitment okay so that's the double check after 300 yards turn right a4127 Greenford Road okay you can completely ignore what I'm about to say because the sat nav is giving you the direction 20% of tests they'll ask you to follow the signs to Sudbury 
it's exactly the same as the sat nav okay so not to confuse too much but just to highlight the signs as well so light turn right Turn right, A4127, Greenford Road. If you see me press this, it's just for visuals. Doesn't mean we're doing anything wrong. Okay, so. <clears throat> This is the Greenford Road, and I joke to say that this is the world's longest traffic light. Sometimes the examiners might take the time to talk to you here and just break that silence, okay? I don't think it'd be too much longer, the traffic light probably change green, so I'll just be quiet. Just going past all the shops on Greenford Road, and we'll be making our way to the very top of Greenford Road. That's where we'll be given our next direction. Very good if all your mirror checks as you've been moving down the road. Although it's a straight road, you've been checking all the mirrors every now and again. Done with your awareness. In case you're not familiar with the area, that's not fair. That there on the right, that sign, that's where it changes. But I don't feel that's. After 200 yards, <laughs> turn left, A4005, Sunbury Hill. I'll get there at some point. Might be half an hour later. Turn left. Good mirror checks, good signal, nice timing. I'm really struggling here. You know when you stop thinking about what it is that you're trying to remember, yeah. it comes to you? Yeah. I'm just going to forget about it. I'm sure it'll come back to me. But anyways, that sign on the right, um, I think it's unfair. I'm going to use that word, unfair. Mm -hmm. Usually you'd have for speed change, sign on the right and a sign on the left. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're now heading towards Harrow on the Hill. And you're going up a mountain. When it's safe, I'd like you to show us how you would wash the rear window. Perfect. Thank you. So I'm just going to tick off that we've completed the show me and the tell me questions. 10 10. Well done.
Welcome to Harrow and Hill. It's a very posh neighbourhood. There's a private all boys school. <coughs> After 300 yards, turn left, A4005, Roxeth Hill. Very good for continuing. They haven't reached that tactile pavement. The sat nav is slightly misinforming us. We're following the road, so no need for a signal. We're just going to follow the road. Sometimes examiners say South Harrow. Turn left, A4005, Roxeth Hill. Good early breaking, nice awareness. Quite steep downhill. After 300 yards, turn left, A312, Northfield Road, then take the second right. Turn left, then take the second right. Excellent with your very faint road markings. Staggered crossroads. So first left and then immediately after a traffic light, turn right. So go. Turn right. Nice mirrors, good signal, good position. Turn right, Shaftesbury Avenue. And there we are, your staggered crossroads complete. Good job. After 300 yards, Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Roxeth Green Avenue. Very good understanding. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Very good observations. Excellent. Well done. Very common to have a pedestrian crossing immediately after exiting the roundabout. And with your roundabout, the best tip I can give everybody, as you demonstrated, is approach the roundabout slowly. So running to jogging to walking speed as we approach the roundabout. Again, nice gap here from your part vehicle at the same time as having oncoming traffic. After 150 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Roxeth Green Avenue. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit.
the first look at Greenford today. So far, what are your thoughts? It's alright. It's a typical of Epping. Just uh, have to be calm and like. Yeah. Be calm. Um, top tip I'd give you for your driving test is just be yourself. Don't change anything, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Stay in the groove. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Eastcote Lane, then turn right. Sorry, we're just too close here on the left. I'm not sure if you noticed that. I, uh, yeah, I did see that. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. Good observations. Some of the vehicles might be blockers. Try to have a look at the wheels of the vehicles. Have a look at the BMW's wheels and the Volkswagen's wheels. Can you see how they're straight in the white car? That could give us a nice good indication of where they're going to go. And then maybe that might give us an opportunity to... Turn see. right, Corbin's Lane. Very good if you're fat and have work. find a safe place to put up on the left. Yep. Very nice mirrors and signal. Right, lovely spot to park in as well, so we're not obstructing anyone's driveways. Perfect. On the real test, the examiner asks us to put up and stop on the left at least three times. Okay. I'm probably only going to do it once, <laughs> maybe twice, okay? Yeah. All right, now what I'd like to do next is an emergency stop. That's an emergency stop, <laughs> just in case you didn't catch that. Um, my signal to you would be my hand up and the word stop. Yeah. Have we done this before? Yeah, we did. All right, I thought so. Yeah, I was yeah. just triple checking um so you know how it'll go then so i'll ask real quick any questions before we drive on okay you're good to go yeah, yep yeah, all right yeah. so drive on when you're ready and then just wait for my signal sure. thank you won't be able to ask us only because there's now some traffic following. After 200 so just yards, drive normal. turn right, A312, Northfield Road. Thanks. We might be able to do that a bit later. Excellent with your cheat code. Turn right. Good with your observations, the other vehicles aren't really giving you much to go on. Um, you were reading the body language and probably looking at the drivers as well. That's nice.
good for your driving test at the time that you're booked. Avoid all bus lanes. Very good to move back. As soon as that bus lane ended, we were back on this left, left side. yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4090, Witten Avenue West. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, good. So no lane marking means we could argue this is one lane and you're taking the position similar to the vehicle in front, showing everybody what part of the road you'd like to use. And it's nice because you've got parked cars here as well, so we can't really stick that much to the left. Good mirrors. Good timing of the signal. Nice spiral, nice steering, yeah? Because we kind of had to go right. Nice right mirror check. Because you had the park cars, and then as you came across, you see that steering, we were talking about that earlier. Very nice and gentle, nice spiral. We're almost back, by the way, five minutes. We'll finish off with your maneuver. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A4090. Witten Avenue West. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. That's nice. Good observation to the roundabout too. Heard of blocker cars before? Or is that something that's a new term? That's a new term. Yeah? Alright. Um, the blocker cars would be any vehicles, or I shouldn't say cars, I should block a vehicles, but whatever. Um, any vehicle that stops the traffic on the right from going at a roundabout. So sometimes we'll get to a roundabout. This is just a long straight road, by the way. So not a lot going on here. Um, <clears throat> sometimes we'll arrive at a roundabout and the traffic on the right, it's not moving that's because it has traffic on its right that it has to stop for. So I know that sounds a little strange. Yeah. If that's the case, we call that a blocker, blocks that traffic on the right. If we time it correctly, and the correct time is as the blocker car enters, we enter the roundabout. If the blocker car exits, it's the incorrect time, it's too late. Yeah. So just gotta see it, know that information, and then study that once we see an opening, and we feel confident to take it, then we can start to use the blocker cars. So what I'm saying is we don't have to use them straight away if we're learning to drive, just to know that, look for them, see it, then study that, and then we can start acting on that when we feel more confident. And that's a blocker car. Okay, so we're just coming back to the world's longest traffic light, which is what we were at at the beginning. Not that much further now. 
And you remember the little side road that said the examiner might use to do some parking? I'll get us to go there. E trends like, yeah, yeah, I remember that road that you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nice mirror checks. Yes, we're almost done now. Give a little break. And then we'll do another test route straight away. <laughs> Let's read up one up It's like gym for driving. That rope coming out the back holding the door <laughs> does worry me a little bit. <laughs> so maybe if they accelerate very hard, that door might fly open. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Another one, you know the scaffolding lorries? I worked with one man and I had a student. They both lost their eye from the scaffolding pole coming from the back of the truck oh. through the windscreen and into that eye. Two people I met. Two! <laughs> so, I don't drive behind scaffolding trucks. Yeah. It's like something you'd see on a movie. Yeah. Welcome to the world's longest traffic line. After 200 yards, turn right, Melville Avenue. Turn right. in your position looks very nice. Okay, so the side road um, will be coming up on the left a bit further down. I'll give direction when we get a bit closer. Oh, this is just behind this green van actually. Why don't you just try to turn left here? Just behind this green van. Thank you. After 200 yards, turn left. Robin Hood Way, okay, then okay, you okay, have reached your down. destination on your left. Okay, that's a bit further still. We've got a, I think it's a Vauxhall, it's a grey car just coming up on the left. Yeah, just... If you can take us up to the Vauxhall, the grey car, and if you stop just parallel with this little one, and then reverse park, please. In fact, I've just had a better idea, just because I realise these cars are quite close. Um, you see this Jeep just in yep. front of us, sorry, just to give you more space, that's yep, all. Yep. If you just take us to the Jeep here, and then we can do the same manoeuvre. Thank you. Good, this is much better, so it's about a metre gap between us. It could be a little bit closer, but I wouldn't be any further away than this distance, okay? Yep. Take your time, no rush, when you're ready, we'll reverse park. Don't worry about the driveways on this occasion.
Okay. All right, we'll finish the test off here then. So would you do me an extra favor? I wouldn't... Oh, just gonna see what this red card's gonna do. Okay, I think we're good then. Um, you will know it's the end of our real driving test when the examiner asks us to switch the engine off. So if you would just push the power button for us, switch off. I'm still just watching what the red car is doing because I'm a little bit confused. What do you think they're going to do? Go into one of the driveways? They're not coming here though, are they? I think we're okay. We're not disturbing them is what I'm thinking, right? Yeah, I think we'll be all right. They're kind of over there. All right, so that is the end of the mock test. It is a tradition around here to ask you, how do you feel it went? Um, it was, it was okay. It's okay all along, except the, um, I was too close to the white, gray van. Yes, okay. yeah, that was one of the areas that came up. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I thought I did see it though, because I, I was trying to move in away from that one, because I was uh, a little bit too late. To yes, um, I think there's really only one area that I can help you with, actually, from studying your drive a little bit. Um, so the area that you just mentioned was a highlight. Would you say pass or fail due to that one? I think that was fair because you yes. had, to <laughs> had to use the brake. Yeah. Now, how I'd like to help you if you're driving is when we have um, areas like that one, approach it slower. Do you remember a good example might be when we were on the motorway earlier on our way here? Yeah. Do you remember there was one um, of the traffic lights? I think we slowed down for there was traffic in front of us. Do yeah. you remember when I was doing that with my hand? Mm -hmm. I said, put more, put more, put more. So that's obviously a, a bit extreme because we're going at 70 miles an hour and we're braking yeah. very heavy. Yeah. But it's the same analogy. So we're braking earlier and we're braking a little bit more right. so that when we get to that tight gap, we can ease off the brake, do you remember? And then yeah. edge into it and yeah. see what's going to happen next. Yeah. Rather than coming in at a higher speed and then having to stop suddenly or you know, quickly yeah. Yeah. react with yeah. the steering yeah. and stuff. So that's it. That's the only advice I can give you for your driving in general. Your mirrors are fantastic. Your show me, tell me question was very good. I don't know what happened with your parking. <laughs> Oh, it's actually, yeah. The reference point, you positioned it on the edge of the curb. Uh, sorry, the edge of the oh, gutter right. stone. Right, sorry, right. wants to be on the edge of the curb. Yeah. They're identical yeah. stones. Can you see? They're actually identical. <laughs> just that one's low and one's high. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll look exactly the same on the camera. Right. Very easy to get confused. Right. Yeah, okay. I thought, yeah, I thought that was the edge of the curb. But, uh... I thought so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. All right, um, and then the last bit here, um, and then we're done, is just a blocker car. So we kind of filled in the gaps a little bit while we were driving, but it's very difficult. And this is my weakness as an instructor. I talk too much. So if you're driving and I'm trying to explain something, it's very difficult for us as students to kind of listen to that and do all of this at the same time. Yeah. So real quick before we sign off, any questions about the block cars at the roundabouts? Yeah, I think I think I guess you just to you need to time it perfectly. Mm -hmm. I think it also applies to me when um, a junction turns it right because you, you you just hesitating. You just um, for a right turn. Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. 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 I see what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. So there was one right turn at the end. Uh, you stopped for it. Do you remember that right turn at the yeah. end? Yeah. You could have gone. Yeah. <laughs> you just. So you just, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You just yeah. sometimes you sometimes you feel like you can do it. Sometimes you feel like. It's fine it's, to stop, by yeah. the way. So look, yeah. let me give you an analogy. If I gave you a hundred pound and I said to you, would you bet on stopping? If remember, you're on a driving test, yeah. not a race. Would you A, put your money on stopping or B, put your money on going? Stopping. Yeah. There you go, right? Okay. Yeah. Now, we may, and I just marked one minor driver fall and one major driver fall yeah. on your whole test. The clearance from the van was the major one. You bring that up. Now, the blocker car is what we're talking about here. It's just the hesitation that you said. So it is marked down as undue hesitation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're making a bet, always bet on stop. Yeah. Okay. You might get a minor for it. But if you bet on go and it's not safe, major. major. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're playing a safe bet. Yeah. Now, for it to go major for minor, it really has to be consistent. 
So if you're stopping at every single junction on your driving test, and some of them we can see that we don't need to stop, yeah. then it's going to become major, yeah. okay? Yeah. But it's really a very safe bet to bet on stop. Yeah. So as I say, when in doubt, don't. Or when in doubt, leave it out. Basically, maybes yeah. has to be a definite. Yeah? yeah. All right. So I think that just leaves me to say thank you for sharing. It would definitely beneficial, uh, be beneficial or benefit a lot of people, um, especially because there's lots of really nice stuff going on. So a lot of it is people failing and all this stuff and all the yeah. bad stuff. Yeah. But it's nice to highlight someone that's got good skills, very good skills. You could potentially get zero minor faults on your real driving test. That's the level that you're at. Okay. okay. All right, then. Thank you, e for sharing again. Thank you to everybody that is still here and hasn't fallen asleep. God damn you, other phone. Not you. Not you, chat. No. You guys are angels, aren't you? <laughs> you don't know about that. <laughs> I'm talking about the other phone. It keeps losing connection. Same connection, same everything, but anyways. All right. Stay safe, guys. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with you in a moment. And for everyone on YouTube, ciao, ciao. And we'll see you next time. Bye.